So you're on the market looking for a super cheap DSLR and what do you find? The Canon EOS Rebel T6 or 1300D. This is one of the cheapest on the market. I think you can get it for around $160 US on eBay. Pretty darn cheap. Honestly, this is a great camera for the money. Just in general, this camera has an APS-C size sensor with 18 megapixels, which isn't a lot, but it, you won't notice the difference. If this is your first DSLR, this would be great. Um, it does not have a flip-out screen and it has no audio in jack, but it does have like a remote input, a USB jack, and it has an HDMI out which you can plug straight into a TV or a monitor so that you can see yourself when you're recording and stuff like that. And it has all the manual controls you would ever want. You can go completely manual in video or in photos and it can shoot raw photos. So for photography, I would recommend this camera as your first DSLR. Say you're shooting right now with a point and shoot or your cell phone, this would be a great upgrade. It has completely manual controls, like I mentioned earlier, shoots raw photos, and uh, it has the Canon lens library, which is just absolutely massive. You will never run out of lenses to buy for this camera. And what's great is if you ever want to upgrade cameras, you can take all of your lenses that you bought for this camera and just swap them over to the next Canon camera if you buy a Canon. So say you want to buy a full frame uh, camera after this, you can just keep all of your lenses. And that is a huge, huge selling point of buying a very cheap Canon camera. Also for photography, this camera has the ability to transfer photos over Wi-Fi straight to your phone, which is wonderful. You just download the app, it's super easy. And that way you can like take a photo on this camera and transfer it over and upload it to Instagram right away. That is really great because you don't need to go through your laptop with SD card and do all that mumbo jumbo. Now also with it being a Canon camera, you also have their very easy to use menus. A couple things this does not have though is uh, the ability to do a time lapse in camera. You would have to either hook up your laptop or buy an intervalometer so that you can do that. Now for videography, this camera is interesting. I would recommend it for your first DSLR if you're going to be behind the camera. The reason I say that is because this LCD screen does not flip out and there's no microphone jack input and there's also no autofocus during video. Uh, this would be the last camera that I would recommend if you're trying to vlog because it is a hassle to say the least. Now that doesn't mean you can't get good quality video out of this for vlogging, it just means it's a lot more difficult. And if you're trying to vlog and want a camera around this price range with the similar features but stuff that's better for vlogging, I'd recommend the Canon EOS Rebel T3i, which has a flip-out screen and an audio jack input, which is really great. It does not have autofocus during video, but I would recommend that still. Now if you are going to be behind the camera, I would recommend this for video because you still have the Canon lens library, you have the Canon menus, and you have a good image quality. If you want to see some footage from this, I would recommend my homeless short film that I shot almost entirely on the T6. Some of it was shot in the T3i. In that video, we used an external audio recorder because this does not have an audio jack. And that, honestly, that worked really well. If you're shooting short films and you're going to be behind the camera, I would really recommend this because you're probably going to want an external audio recorder anyway and when you're just starting out you can just use your phone with the audio recorder on your phone to get decent audio and just sync that up and post. It's really not a big deal when you're starting out. Now if you're vlogging, definitely just don't even look at this camera. Go to the T3i, SL2, something else. I would recommend something else for sure. Now in conclusion, I would recommend this camera for beginner photographers or beginner videographers if you're going to be behind the camera as your first DSLR. If you already have one, I'd probably recommend a different camera to upgrade to that has a couple more features like the continuous autofocus or microphone jack input or the flip screen. But if you're just starting out in photography, this would be a perfect first DSLR. Okay, so that's about it. If you have any questions about this camera, I, I've used it for a while, so I know quite a bit about it. And just leave your questions down in the comment section. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.